Welcome to um, Next Generation Solutions for Virtual Onboarding, Vibe 2022. Hopefully everybody is able to hear me. I am Kelly Lake. I am the Global Head of KnowledgeWorks uh, Global Learning. And today we are going to be talking about uh, innovative approach to virtual onboarding. Those of you that have had a chance to meet me in the past, I know there's quite a lot of folks that are on the call today and the session, so I thank you all for being here and a special thank you, call out to ATD for the technical support that we're receiving today. So just to dive down into um, Vibe a little bit, let me explain to you, Vibe is uh, KGL's uh, virtual induction blended platform, experience platform, or what we call Vibe. Over the last several years, you know, we've all had the challenges for what is virtual onboarding? How do we augment our approaches to virtual onboarding? And what are the important factors that make up successful um, onboarding in a virtual world? So what we did at KGL, you know, a couple of years ago, we released Vibe, and then we've been updating Vibe as we've gone along. And with that, obviously, with nuances that are coming out and the challenges from a virtual um, onboarding perspective, we actually came up with blending an approach of gamification, um, which we embed videos in there, make it interactive, engaging as well. Not only that, from AI chatbots, um, we find that you know engagement is the number one priority for organizations and for employees that are coming on board. How do we engage them successfully? How many times have employees come on board and said, you know, I don't really know my role. I didn't have such a great experience. I'm not too sure about the culture of the company or where I actually fit into an organization. So we took that as feedback and created a virtual mentor program. Um, and the engagement factor brought in some virtual humans interactions. And I'm going to show you a demo of that as well. And then also augmented reality, which has really been a very favorable pursuit over the last couple of years as well, not only from taking a flat experience, from coming on board with onboarding where you may have just received manuals or received you know paperwork and and not having that engagement but with it now actually having the opportunity to engage with the document and have it you know come to life if you want to say that from an augmented perspective and i'm going to talk about that a little bit more when we get into the demo aspect of it so just to go back one second and i appreciate everybody having the patience with the connectivity issues that i'm facing um, just to give you an overview real quick of the Vibe solution, as you can see, this is just a, uh, an image of how all the different components are coming together. Um, just to give you a visualization and the points, the components that I just spoke about, not only from that aspect of it, but not depending on where you are specifically in your onboarding process, whether you're in the very beginning of the process, um, where you haven't really experienced anything from a virtual perspective, or you're actually engaged with a platform that you're happy with. There's different components within Vibe that work very nicely in all those different um, situations. So it will depend on where you are. It will not also depend on that. It will depend on who's rolling out your onboarding experiences, because as we know, from a global perspective, those experiences are vastly different, whether the states or another country, depending on the industry that you're in uh, financially, where the company may be, um, how HR is actually engaging with the onboarding process as well. So there's a lot of different components that make up a very successful approach. But number one is engagement, making sure that you know employees are feeling comfortable coming in and they understand where they are. So I'm going to demonstrate to you what that collaborativeness looks like and also give you just a little bit more understanding as we start to talk about how those different pieces come together. Just for the sense of, of understanding from that onboarding process and how that possibly works. So if you think about a standard onboarding process where you might have started um, augmenting or automating your documents and your procedures in the beginning, um, but at that particular point, you're not too sure how that engagement factor would very well work with your different types of employees, wherever they may sit from a virtual perspective. So we go back to that engagement perspective. So that's why we came up with a game um, as an onboarding process. You know, how quickly can you learn about your organization? Um, I'm going to show you a demo of a particular client that we created, and um, it is a, called Media Best. It's a media based company um, who is very concerned about onboarding, ensuring that employees understand what that process looks like. So that helped them expedite the process very quickly because number one is you want to be able to get your employees in as quickly as possible, but to retain the knowledge. And that's why collaboration is so very important, not only from that aspect, but building out the game that we did, the game itself can be augmented for continuous learning, which is very beneficial. So it will serve as multiple purposes on that. And then adding in those interactions, not only from 
you know, I have a chat bot, I'm able to interact with getting my answers, you know, very quickly instead of waiting to have to, to, you know, actually have a conversation with someone or I can have a virtual mentor, which I'm able to click in and, and do a one-on-one -on -one with the person that's been assigned to me and be able to answer questions and help me grow through that process as well. So those benefits across the board are very beneficial, not only from the employee, but also if you think about an ROI model on a particular onboarding program, what does that look like? And being able to show that and being able to pull data through that whole entire onboarding process to see what that looks like, be able to get feedback from employees very quickly, and then also judge where you are and update your process accordingly. So there's a lot of different things within Vibe. And as, and as I mentioned, hopefully you heard before that Vibe is a, is a process and some organizations want to, you know, are very early in the stage and they choose to actually have some interactivity see how that goes and then build out that process full of full one. And then if you do have platforms that are in place, some of the functionality that we offer can definitely augment what you currently have. Okay. So what you're seeing now is an integrated dashboard for uh, media best, our client. And basically what they wanted, they wanted to have one area as part of their onboarding process that integrated with their LMS that integrated with a couple of their standard applications where they could actually reach out and find information and be a part of it. And what we did is we started off the whole entire program by having a game. And that game was actually rolled out to employees as part of their initial onboarding, um, which enabled them to uh, walk through different components. And what I wanna show you before we go into the demo is just explain a little bit about the game so it makes sense to you as I start to describe it, okay? So if you take a look at your screen right now, uh, the game was set up uh, with different rooms, and there's actually six different ones. And it was actually a mock-up of one of their offices or in their headquarters, which the employee would walk through, answer questions, uh, learn from a video, uh, actually, and proceed through these six core areas. Now, the core areas, company culture, benefits, safety, you know, there's numerous things that you can build out um, on employee benefits. This is an area that they wanted to do and it, size can be different. It doesn't have to be six, it can be two. The game itself is timed. It's timed for 14 minutes. You can replay the game, you can go back in. Um, it serves as a ongoing support. Um, some of the functionality is that you receive badges as you go through the games. Um, if you get them incorrect, you can go back and retake it again. So it, it actually reiterates exactly and reinforces what that experience would be for those users or those employees that are coming on board for the first time. And then also used to refresh employees as they, they come back through this and wanna actually have a refresher in it, okay? All right, so let me just pop out of here and take you into the demo itself. So we are on the home page of the actual platform and I'm gonna go through and give you a sample and just walk you through what the game looks like, okay? And again, this is timed. Um, there are a couple uh, questions uh, for engagements to get people involved, but you'll see as we start through. Uh, what they wanted to do is they wanted an initial um, questions to be asked, clues to get the, making sure that everybody was involved with this. Um, and then we go right into this. If you see up here, we're timed. We also have the badges to proceed forward. There are help files, navigation files, audio, pause, um, a lot of different things that you can do. This was particular for them. We actually can make some of these videos interactive um, if that tends to be you know, a little bit better of an experience for all of you, but I'll go ahead and demo this right now. Welcome to Media Best a pioneer in broadcasting and a world leader in communication media. In the early 1970s, the Madison brothers started MediaBest as a radio broadcasting service. Within the next decade, MediaBest... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move through the video just to show you what the experience would be. So we have knowledge checks built in here very easily, and it offers um, the opportunity to replay the video, um, ask the questions if you get it wrong, you can actually go in and, and retake the question again, watch the video again to prove just comp, you know, that you're aware of what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to sort of proceed through. And again, interactive questions to get engagement. Um, move into the next video. Ayana Wilson is the Chief Executive Officer at MediaVest. Her push to create accessible news and ability 
And this particular um, video is all about senior leadership, more personal on them, how they engage themselves as well. Um, some of the questions that have come through is, can these videos be shorter? Can they be longer? Whatever those requirements can be. And yes, absolutely. We're uh, in the middle of right now of working with a, a potential client and financial services who wants a very short three room kind of approach. Um, and it's working very successfully for them. So this one tends to be just a little bit bigger, but again, it depends on your inactivity. You'll see the game is still going. You're having um, your badges and I'm just gonna move forward just for the sake of the demo. Okay. And the nice thing about this too, is if you have questions, this engages with the AI uh, chat bot as well. If you wanna to talk to your virtual mentor as you're going through this, you can also be a virtual mentor. It gives you a chance to collaborate while you're going through this. So it's not always, you know, you may be isolated in this. The engagement is really important to us. We found that the positivity comes back from our potential clients and the clients that we have around what makes it successful for a game. So again, this is just an example. Of talks media a little bit more about um, they embed allows a lot of their review cycles into the very beginning so people understand what that looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead for it. I think that at this point you um, can understand the game and the aspects of the game as well. Now, the other thing that with the game that can be done, um, we also have feedback built into the game. So for an example, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. If indeed I'm having a problem with this and I just went through it just to show you we can get through uh, successfully. If for some reason I'm taking this and I don't complete this, I'm able to go back into those sections and actually pull those sections back up, which makes it very nice um, and for me to work through the game. So this is a little bit of the game up front. Um, our client rolled this out in the very beginning of it. It actually enabled them to work directly with the onboarding process um, and get a feeling for what's going on. We also um, have a involved with that was where we had a section of virtual humans um, and what that looked like as well. So let me just show you just a little bit um, of what virtual humans uh, they used and we created for them um, to roll out a little bit about the company culture. I'm Mark Andrews from Human Resources and I'm here with our Chief Operating Officer Maya Siegel. We're talking about why our company is a great place to work. Maya, what are some words you would use to describe the company culture? Well, I see this company is challenging, creative, diverse, and inclusive. Also flexible, friendly, and fun. Why challenging and creative? So we found out that the engagement factor went up um, quite a lot with those individuals and companies that wanted to use a little bit more engaging um, interactivity, such as virtual humans. So we offered that as a part of it or an add-on to what they're currently doing as well um, with this particular uh, application, we also rolled out virtual mentor. Now the virtual mentor program, um, we just have a statement of what they actually do. Hello, I'm Stephanie. I wanna welcome you to MediaVest and I will be your virtual mentor. My role is to ensure that you have a very smooth onboarding. So with the virtual mentor too, it, it's real time. So you're able actually to have that interactivity. Um, you do have um, the whole entire log being recorded and, and the AI component of it actually works to ensure that that information is uploaded um, and then actually goes to work with their development and training plan as well. So that virtual mentor is not only a part of them when they can start the onboarding process, but continues on with them as well. Um, and that helps with the feedback factor at the same time. We also embedded um, a chatbot. Those of you that ever used chatbots in the, in the past, um, actually the new AI is, is a very unique approach for helping engaging as well. Um, they wanted their chatbot engaged not only from their LMS perspective, but they wanted to engage directly with Vibe. So that aspect gave a little bit more functionality into how you would be able to help that engagement moving forward. So these, these are all, and I'll just show you real quick, this is just a sample uh, we pulled out and how quickly um, you know they're able to pull information from their particular and it's media bot which is theirs um, as well as their locations or anything like that that instant we just did it took a snippet out of it for our demo today um, but i thought it was important to see how this all comes together now we have um, a couple of the things that i wanted to talk about and just make sure that we have a few minutes to get into the q a and um, one of the aspects is ar so with ar if you can think about a couple things that, that have been used for onboarding with AR have been not only 
you know, I receive materials and I'm able to take my phone and overlap the tags on the different, and I can actually see more information on the materials themselves. Some of you may have not seen that, but it may have seen brochures done that way or, you know, specific company information that's provided. Not only that, but, you know, augmented reality for onboarding for those that are, um, you know, hybrid model these days that might be in an office, you're able to set up correctly to be able to have an employee walk through an office, you know, with a phone or device, and then be able to see information from the office and different aspects of it. Um, being able to see employee information, um, going by desks where you see the person's name, what they're responsible for, how you interact with them, the content information for that. Also, there's a couple other different things with um, the whole entire augmented reality that MediaBot um, excuse me, Media Vest went ahead and did because part of their company is medical as well as information. And they wanted to do pre-testing with um, some of their individuals on core information. So uh, they embedded a little bit of the augmented reality when it comes to that aspect of it. Um, a little bit of, you know, what, where are you testing? Where are you located? How can you proceed forward? So there's a lot of different aspects within the different onboarding. And what I will say to you, I know there's probably a lot of questions. We lost a little bit of time for connectivity in the beginning, but I will assure you that we will make sure that we follow up with you. Any of you that want more dedicated demos, please do reach out. I'll show you my contact information as well. I think it's really important that you're able to see that. Um, I'll just show you just a quick snippet of the AR part of it. Um, this was just uh, for our particular company, testing out a little bit on some content, understanding that they knew from a development perspective, this person that was on board for them actually was a writer for some of their journals. And this was a part of the knowledge that they had to demonstrate as well. Okay. So that being said, I just wanted to take a few minutes, take a step back open up some questions. And again, if we don't get to all of your questions, I'll make sure that we follow up with you as well um, and provide a little bit more information. Um, those of you as well that want, uh, we'll have a demo located on our website too that can drill down a little bit more specifically into these areas um, and answer some of these questions. And today was just the purposes of introducing to you um, what we've added to Vibe why we've added to it and the benefits across the board of adding different aspects and functionality to Vibe. Um, we're more than happy to show how these different things play together to ensure that that retention is there. Um, you know, AR has proven that, you know, it is definitely a huge aspect when it comes to retention as you move forward. But once the engagement is there and you're actually able to do this, you know, you can actually have ROI against this to show your attention, to show your development, and also help employees as they grow through different paths within their careers as well. So at this point, I'm going to go over and um, stop sharing and answer some questions. What was the biggest lessons learned with developing onboarding uh, all the hurdles in the last couple of years? I think the biggest components of this had been from what we've heard of employees and organizations, and I've spoken with so many different organizations in different areas, has been knowing where to start for them, um, knowing what's going to work well with employees working remotely, um, really understanding what's going to be successful because it's trial and error, right? As we all know, even though you develop an understanding and say, we've created our process, this is how we start, this is where we go. Majority of the HR folks that are working on this just don't know where to start. And also too, with HR and the individuals that we worked with in training, they've had to wear so many different hats within those couple of years, as we all know, that the focus necessarily didn't always come to be on onboarding. And then all of a sudden you have reboarding too. You have employees that you've had to bring back on board as well. So there's been a lot of obstacles on where to start and even how to augment the process where you currently are. And can you you know, increase the process or improve it without hurting the, you know, the onboarding itself and getting people on board and getting people to their jobs. So that's been, been a huge um, overcoming what's been happening with that. Can Vibe communicate with existing LMS? Yes, it can. So um, there's a couple of different things depending on your LMS or if you're an um, experimental platform, depending on what you're using, uh, Vibe can integrate very nicely with that. And depending on which pieces of Vibe you want to use as well. So we're working with a couple of LMS providers right now on um, how we're going to, to work with that. And they're going to take some of that functionality and to augment their current LMS, um, which is nice. And we'll keep that posted out on the, the um, internet as well and let people know what we're doing. But if you're interested, more than happy to answer some more questions, follow up with you and show you that. Okay. 
Is this a squirming? Yes. So definitely from the game perspective, it is. It will run on any LMS. Um, if you're looking just to keep it on a server, you can do that as well. Um, so there's the flexibility in there. In what industry do you see AR being uh, most used when it comes to training? I will tell you the leaders right now in the market, medical, as you would imagine, automotive. So we're seeing um, a tremendous amount of move in, in an automotive perspective. And so long ago gone are the days of having an owner's manual in your, your glove box, right? So now everything is you get into your vehicle and you're able to augment it. Not only from that perspective, sales training. Sales training is huge right now in those different industries. How salespeople are actually explaining functionality, um, that's a big move right now. Manufacturing. Right. So, you know, companies, some of my companies that we work with are using them for their equipment, um, using it for any type of, you know, on site training that they may want to do, um, even their onboarding for their equipment and what they're doing. Medical, you see AR all over the place with that, you know, not only from, you know, a hospital, uh, you know, healthcare perspective, but also for medical training. Um, actually, it was with a, a client going through a demo on um, augmented reality for an emergency room where they're doing it on medical devices and they're pulling that up as well. So there's lots of different aspects that you can do that with depending on what the industry is. Um, virtual humans. Okay, you might cover this late, but in this case, is the virtual human virtual mentor actually people in a virtual capacity or these all bots? Good question. So the virtual humans is actually virtual. So it's virtual development um, that are, you know, mock-ups of as close as interactive as possible. Um, the virtual, virtual mentors are actually people, um, but can be also virtual humans if you want to, but the virtual mentors are interactive, just like you and I would be interacting to have that um, connectivity to someone who is a mentor for you that can coach you um, throughout that as well. So it depends on what kind of approach you want to take, but for the purposes today, that's human versus uh, human-like. Okay. How do you measure the engagement factor? Great question. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. And it depends what you want to gain by measurement. So if you're measuring it to find um, how many people have um, currently engaged in certain factors what are your factors that you're that you're actually um, measuring are you measuring um my engagement as far as being able to answer my questions are you measuring my capabilities as far as cognitive retention what are your different areas that you're able to do that so depending on how you what you want to measure um we give you best practices on those different types of measurements i'll give you one quick example and i know i'm running against some time here but um a client that we developed this for actually wanted to measure a couple different things. They wanted to measure a, you know, how engaged were the individuals that were coming through the onboarding process? Um, were they you know, able to retain information? We did a couple other things around the game to prove that aspect of it. Um, and then the time and the amount that they did it. So there's a lot of analytics that were on the, on the back end of it, depending on that engagement factor. Um, so again, I'd be more than happy to showcase that with you. I'd be more than happy to provide you um, a case study. So you can actually see what, what that looks like, okay? Can Vibe also develop as a different game on a customized one? Yes, answer your question, absolutely. I think that that's important, not only to understand uh, the game itself, but also how it can be customized as well. Is the game VR with a headset or a flat screen? The game itself is not um, VR. The game itself is uh, just a basic um, game approach. With the um, VR, you can either do it um, on a device, handheld device, or we actually develop with a headset too. So there's different aspects depending on that level of engagement that you want to develop for your particular employees. Okay. Uh, can you pause the game at the time of the case and have it up again and walk away? Yes, absolutely. You can bookmark your game. Wherever you stop in the game, it's where you'll be able to pick up. You'll be asked in the beginning, do you wanna pick up where you were or do you wanna restart the game? So absolutely. Um, other than getting badges, what are the elements that make the game gamified approach? So it's not only that aspect of it. So here's, a, here's something else that we're doing as well. So not only doing a single game approach, but we're also developing a multiplayer approach too that will go into a second phase of that. So the game itself not only um, gets broken down into the different aspects of uh, cognitive development. So it can be, the game itself can be measured not only specifically for those different areas, but then also, you know, if you do a typical game, you're doing it the time against it, you're doing um, the measurement against it, and you're doing the badges against it. So we've actually taken that one step beyond that. And I'm not going to 
uh, tell you any more about that uh, with some of our, our competitors today, but I'd be more than happy to show you that and show you a little bit behind the scenes as well. I'd be happy to discuss that with you too. Okay, whoops. Am I sharing? Okay, so I know that we are at our time. Um, does this, this doesn't replace an LMS, but adds gamification. That is absolutely correct on that. So I'm going to thank you all for your time today. I appreciate us going over. And again, I apologize for the connectivity issues. Hopefully we'll be able to trim that out on the video as well, but please, please, you know, reach out at any particular point in time. I'm just going to share real quick as we, um, uh, go through this, just, um, uh, my contact information, those of you that, um, want to follow up. And I will just bounce down to the bottom of this real quickly for you and let you know that we can be reached very easily, KGL. Um, do reach out. Like I said, I'd be more than happy to follow up with some examples of it for this for you as well. Those of you interested in prototypes, I know I had a couple of people follow up with that. Please just reach out. Um, my email address is there, uh, kelly.lake at kwglobal.com. Um, it's just kwglobal across the board, any of you that have been on the site, reach out, follow us on Twitter. And again, I thank all of you for your time today and be more than happy to answer anything that we have, okay? Thank you.